I've been filleting a few fishes before, but I have never filleted a salmon before. Oh my gosh. You've hacked it, haven't you? Who knows how to fillet salmon? Yeah, I can. Because we've got a problem over there. That salmon, I don't know, if it was my kitchen, it wouldn't be leaving the kitchen. It's been hacked up that much. Salmon can be a really difficult fish to fill it, but Byron's confident that he can handle it. I've done plenty of salmon before, but not under this uh, sort of pressure. I start off on the salmon, it, it's a real mess. I turn it over and I start filleting it myself. I'm struggling too. Have you pin boned it? No, I was going to bone it after it's off the skin. No. No? No. Because when you. If you pin bone it after you've skinned it... I've left that much skin. Oh, you've, you've, you, you, anyway. you've absolutely Ruined destroyed it, it yeah. right? Tracy! Right, you, you need to make a decision. You're the captain, yep. right? But we've got an issue here. What's an issue? At the moment, you guys are struggling to fill it at, right? So you need to look for a new option. The salmon's been butchered and I'm absolutely in shock. We've got all sorts of problems. We cannot serve it as a fillet any longer. The blue team's got a thing, it's Italian, and I like that because to get the punters upstairs, they want to know before they walk up those stairs, up where am I going? But the things that I'm worried about, things like, you know, they want to do confit salmon with a chez fennel salad, which sounds lovely, yeah. but their filling of the salmon, Gary, is like uh, <laughs> it's a, a butchery a, it's murder, <laughs> murder. Um, look, red team, I'm really pleased with the way they've constructed the menu. They've, they've actually gone, look, we're going to tackle this as a cafe. First team challenge, never done a service together. Okay. Keep it simple, stupid kind of philosophy. Mm -hmm. So some okay. of the dishes, for example, they've got roasted salmon with some pickles, uh, dessert, they've got a little panna cotta. So kind of a simple menu. First team challenge, I think the interesting bit's going to be getting to service and seeing how they're going to work yeah, together. Yeah, I love that. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Fantastic. We're already over halfway through prep, and with 11 dishes to get up, we're really pushing it. The flathead is for both the fish tacos and the fish croquettes, but we've only got four of them. Is that all of it? Yeah, that's all of it. That's all there is? Yeah, there's only four okay. fish. This is a big problem. There's not enough flathead for both of the dishes. Is the flathead going in the croquettes or the...? Is the fillets going in the croquettes? Okay. So Sarah decides to use the flathead for the croquettes. So I've done this, do you want me to get on like, doing those prawns? Prawns, yeah. And we've got prawns in the pantry, so we use those for the tacos. Oh, man. They're huge, man. They're beautiful. The problem is, now I've got to peel all these prawns, it's going to set us back big time. Wonderful job, babe. I'm so stressed. The salmon filleting hasn't gone well, so we can't serve it as a fillet anymore. But we can still confit it. Are you happy with it? That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, ready? Yep. This dish has been saved by Tracy's quick thinking. All I have to do now is flake it, serve it with a beautiful orange and fennel salad, and now it's become one of our key sharing plates. Half an hour before service starts and um, prep's on target. Everything's just about done. The well, let's just play around with it now. Being in the kitchen and getting ready for service is exciting. It's not going to sit. Nah, I don't like it. Because you know when those doors open and the people come up, it's go time. Perfect. It just needs a bit more crunch, a little bit more contrast. I'm with you. So um, we need to make sure that all of our dish have a structure and that when it comes to plating and service time, that everyone knows what they're doing. So that's first dessert? Perfect. Um, I'm stoked. I'm, then... I'm in your gratitude. What's going on the chicken? Does anyone know? No, that's what we're trying to figure out. There's 20 minutes to go to service, yeah. and with so many dishes to get up, the problems are starting to mount up. Sarah, what's on the taco? Um, we're doing prawn on the tacos. Yeah, prawns and what? Um, what's on the taco? Prawns and tacos. what? Prawns, um... What else are you doing? Aioli or zil aioli or what did you... I don't know. I... I don't know what to... We've been focusing on the main part of the dishes so much that we've left the sides a little bit to the last minute. There's cabbage okay. in there. Just make a quick slaw. Yeah. Maybe okay. a slaw, fried prawn. It's frustrating. We want it to be finished by this point and prepping the guys out the front for service, um, but we're definitely behind. There are so many dishes left to prep, so I'm going to leave the desserts and help out on the tortillas for the tacos. I just don't think we want to risk serving up something that tastes like flour only. But they haven't turned out as expected and there's just no time to make another batch. Well, they're just not good. OK, so can we chop them up so they're like slices or something, like make an avocado, those... Here, you know, can you, what do you need to do? At this point, it's almost too late now. We really need to think of a plan B. 
We need to make a decision. Are we going to just leave the tacos and just do prawn with coleslaw? I don't know. What are you thinking? We're getting towards well, the time of service. You can just feel things splitting away. We've got to do something else with prawns and coleslaw. We're well. feeling in the team that maybe this isn't going to go as well as we thought. I mean, we have to get these done or we can't serve it, right? It's so. really close to service now, but we're still pushing it. We need to make a decision. Are we going to just leave the tacos and just do prawn with coleslaw? I don't know. What are you thinking? The problem with the tacos is they're really time consuming and we just don't have the time to get them done. We've got to do something else with prawns and coleslaw. It's, like it's only pickled cabbage. At this point, it's almost too late now. We really need to think of a plan B. Do a little bruschetta. OK, on bread, so on prawn. Bread. Okay, someone start toasting then. Prawn okay. for bruschetta. Well, we'll toast it to order. So now we've decided to make prawn bruschetta. <laughs> so it's gone fish tacos, prawn tacos, now prawn bruschetta. Matthew, you're the chef and the owner, so we've got Republica downstairs and we've got Captain Baxter upstairs. So one's a cafe, one's yep. so more downstairs, a restaurant. more modern bistro, brasserie style, yep. so sort of like a pub on the beach, essentially. Okay. And upstairs here? Uh, it's more of a, a bar, so, okay. so social, fun, interactive. I think those stairs, is that yeah. something It's challenging. That Everyone thinks upstairs, great, it's, you know, it's a prestigious offer, but ev everyone sees ground floor first, so they naturally, we are busier downstairs. So that could be a challenge, yeah. challenge for the guys to try and yeah. filter them past Definitely. the cafe and go, get up there, it's, the food's great. Exactly. Yeah, so I'll take you through it really quickly. Table one. So I leave the kitchen with about five minutes to spare before we open up Six, the venue. Seven, eight. I have had a little bit of experience front of house and there's a reason why you turn up an hour before you start a service shift because you need to prep everything. I haven't done a service in a couple of years to be honest and I have never done one this unorganised so it's going to require an awful amount of smiling and uh, lots of hopefully relatively patient customers. How's everyone going today? Sarah wants me to go outside and start spruiking and getting the customers into our restaurant. And I would love you to come into Republica so I can show you what we can do. Hey, Hardy, are you selling yourself? Hi, how are you going? That's good. You guys having lunch here today? We've got five minutes to go before the restaurant opens and I'm like a nutcase outside trying to, you know, bring in customers. Come through, guys. Come and have some lunch. It's hard work, you know, <laughs> bothering people on their beautiful strolls down the beach. Excuse me, come here. No, don't leave me. Like, I felt a bit of, like, I was, like, harassing people at one stage. How are you going, guys? Yes, no, you want to go no, for the Melbourne team? No. <laughs> I'm from Melbourne, too. No, she's not. Move yes, to like, Adelaide. Move no. to Adelaide. Don't, don't even bother supporting Captain. I think we're going to go Captain Baxter. Blue yeah, team. Blue. I think the menu's quite diverse, so I think it'd be great. Blue. Upstairs. Good variety of seafood and, uh, Light meals too. If you've got a plate and you've been alloc allocated a plate by Tracy, put your plates near your service so you're not running through the kitchen. How are you going, guys? Are you going to come into Republica today? There was probably about a group of 30 people. They were already going upstairs and they wouldn't even look at us. Hello guys, we've got some beautiful meals inside. <laughs> Oi, blue team, if this is a sign of something, nearly every customer will walk past Republica to come straight up here, yeah? Thank you. So pressure's on, but you need now to go and give them service, yeah? OK, guys, ready? We're going to start the service now. So we've got one bruschetta goat's cheese, we've got one beef carpaccio, two lamb and two prawn. Yes, yes. Chef. Yes. Thank you. It was straight into it. OK, second order. It wasn't in little drips and drabs, it was just hectic straight away. We were just flooded with orders. Two Vitri bruschettas, one anchovy bruschetta, two capacho. They pumped us with everyone at the same time. I need one, two, three. I need three capaccios, Brett. I need two salmon. So the kitchen is now on go. We have to go, go, go. OK, guys, I'm waiting on goat cheese bruschetta and a beef capaccio, please. Guys, let's pick it up. Come on, come and join Red. It'll be good fun, I promise. It'll be good. It'll be good, I promise. We do have some uh, amazing food that's just being prepared at the moment. I will come back and I'll run you through the uh, the menu very shortly. The restaurant not being full straight away, that wasn't really a thought that had come to our heads. We've got a full house upstairs. They are yeah. chockers. Okay. And if you go and have a look out there, you're not going to yeah. many people. So whoever is spruiking, you need to make sure that anybody that gets anywhere near your front door, yeah. straight in. Because okay. I guarantee you're going to lose yeah. on revenue now. Welcome to Republica. It's a bit of a shock because, yeah, we need to get the tables full, otherwise we're just not going to make the numbers. 